The portable Cobas H232 cardiac system by Roche measures immunoassays in heparinized venous whole blood. This program will focus on using the Roche cardiac troponin T test strip. The Cobas H232 system can also be used to perform NT, ProBNP, D-dimer, myoglobin, and CKMB tests following the same steps outlined in this program. Note that some tests may not be available in all countries. The Cobas H232 meter is easy to use. You just insert a test strip, apply the blood sample, and read the result. In this program, we'll look at setting up, using, and maintaining the system. Let's look closely at the components of the Cobas H232 system. The system includes the meter, AC adapter, and instructional materials. Please read and be familiar with the Cobas H232 system operator's manual and the test strip package insert. Additional parts of the system include test strips and a test strip code chip, instrument and liquid quality controls, and control code chips. On the top of each test strip, you'll see the sample application area, and on the back, you'll see the barcode. Test strips should be refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. It is not necessary to let the test strips warm to room temperature before using them. However, you must use the test strip within 15 minutes of opening the foil pouch. Each box of test strips has its own code chip. You only need to insert the code chip once for each new lot of test strips. The package insert contains specific instructions and performance data for the tested parameter. The Cobas H232 meter can be powered either by the AC adapter or an optional rechargeable battery pack. The battery pack allows the meter to retain date and time settings in the event of a power interruption. All test results and operator and supervisor settings are saved in memory without a battery pack in place. The battery pack also allows for convenient portability in daily use. The battery pack is recharged when the meter is connected to the AC adapter. While charging, you can operate the meter normally. Now, let's look at the parts of the meter itself. Here is the touch screen, the on-off button, the test strip guide, the measurement chamber cover, and the sample application area. On this side is the code chip slot, infrared interface, and the AC power port. On the back of the meter is the battery cover and the meter's serial number. On meters with the optional barcode scanner, this is found behind the scanner window on the bottom of the meter. The optional handheld base unit is used to connect the Cobas H232 meter to a network for data transfer. It also is a convenient place to recharge the meter. To insert the meter into the base unit, push it against the spring contacts in the upper end and lower the meter until it locks into place. To release it again, gently push the meter against the upper end and lift up from the bottom end. The Cobas H232 system is simple to set up for the first time. Let's look at how to do this. When using the battery pack, remove the battery compartment cover and insert the rechargeable battery pack. Choose a suitable adapter and connect the power supply cable to the meter. Connect the power supply to a power outlet. The meter automatically turns on and performs a brief self-test. When the self-test is complete, the meter automatically enters setup mode. All meter settings are changed by touching the touch screen. Selected items will appear in white on black. The language menu appears and is factory set to US English. To change this, 
Use the arrow keys to search for your desired language. Select it by touching the button. Touch the check mark to accept the language. The date format menu automatically appears. Set both the desired date and time formats by selecting the appropriate buttons. Touch the check mark to accept the date and time format and move on to setting the date. The set date menu automatically appears. Set the year using the arrow keys. Then set the month and the day. Touch the check mark to accept the date and move on to the time. The time menu appears. Set the hour using the arrow keys. Then set the minutes. Touch the check mark to accept the time. The main menu appears and the meter is ready to run a test. At any other time, you can return to date and time by first touching Setup from the main menu, then touching Basics, then Date and Time. The Cobas H232 meter has additional setup parameters that will allow you to customize the meter to your facility's specific requirements. For more information on these additional setup parameters, please refer to the operator's manual. Note that in general there is no need to change the setup during routine operation. Now let's look at how to perform a patient test using the Roche Cardiac Troponin T-Test. To perform a patient test using the other test strips, use the same simple steps. To perform a test you'll need the following items. The Cobas H232 meter, a venous whole blood sample in a heparinized tube, a Roche Cardiac Troponin T test strip, a code chip for the strips, a Roche Cardiac pipette. First, collect a venous blood sample in a heparinized tube. Do not spin down or freeze the blood prior to testing. The whole blood sample should be stored at room temperature and tested as soon as possible after collection. Before using the Cobas H232 meter for the first time, Make sure it's on a level surface that is free of vibrations and out of direct sunlight. At the main menu, touch the patient test screen prompt. The display changes to Enter Patient ID. Using the numeric prompts on the touch screen, enter the patient ID. When complete, touch the check prompt. The screen shows patient test, insert strip. Insert the Roche Cardiac test strip into the test strip guide so that the application area faces up. Insert the strip in a smooth, even motion. If you have not run a patient test with this lot of strips, the screen will request that you insert the appropriate code chip. Insert the code chip for the lot of strips you are using into the code chip slot. Once the code chip's information has been read, the screen will continue by warming up the test strip as indicated by the thermometer icon. The screen changes to patient test, warming up. After a few seconds, the screen changes to patient test, apply sample. You have five minutes to apply the sample. Gently invert the tube of blood about four to five times before withdrawing the sample. Using a Roche cardiac pipette, withdraw 150 microliters of venous blood from the heparinized vacutainer. Make sure that the top of the blood sample is located at the blue line between the two blue arrows on the pipette. Make sure the sample does not include any bubbles. Holding the pipette vertically over the sample application area, slowly apply the sample so as not to lose any of it. Dispose of the pipette according to your facility guidelines. Touch the check mark on the meter touch screen. An hourglass appears on the screen indicating that the meter is processing. In about two to three minutes, the countdown begins. 
If the troponin T level is highly elevated, above 0.1 nanograms per milliliter, the screen will indicate a positive test on the screen even before the quantitative result is available. This special feature is only available for troponin T tests. Within 12 minutes, the result appears on the screen. The result is stored in memory. Other tests take either 8 or 12 minutes for the result to appear, depending on the parameter used. Remove the test strip and dispose of it according to your facility's guidelines. The results of the last 500 tests are stored in the Cobar Sage 232 meters memory. To view the results, touch Memory on the main menu screen. The Memory menu appears. You can review patient history, patient results, QC results, IQC results, and maintenance history by touching the necessary screen prompt. To view all results stored for one particular patient, touch the patient history screen prompt. A list of patient IDs appears. To view results for a specific patient, select the appropriate ID. To view a specific test result, touch the entry you wish to see. The touch screen changes to show the patient result in detail. Use the left arrow icon to return to the memory menu. To view patient results ordered by date and time, touch the All Results screen prompt. The Patient Results menu appears. To view a specific test result, touch the entry you wish to see. The touch screen changes to show the patient result in detail. Use the left arrow icon to return to the memory menu. To view any additional results, touch the necessary screen prompt. When you are through, touch the main menu icon to return to the main menu. Quality control testing ensures that the Cobar Sage 232 meter is working properly and produces accurate results. There are two types of quality control tests that you can run on the Cobar Sage 232 meter. The Roche Cardiac IQC takes about 30 seconds for each level, and the Roche Cardiac Liquid Quality Control Test, which typically takes either 8 or 12 minutes for each level, depending on the test that you're running. This verifies the entire system, including the test strips. The IQC container has a set of two reusable control strips, IQC Low and IQC High, to check the performance of the meter's optical system. You may reuse the strips for up to six months after you first open the container or until the expiration date, whichever comes first. Store the IQC strips at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius between uses. If refrigerated, bring the IQC container and its contents to room temperature before use. The IQC has its own code chip. When you insert the code chip into the code chip slot, the meter stores the code chip's information for future use. The meter only needs to read the IQC code chip once. First, let's look at how to run the IQC. To perform an IQC quality control test, you'll need the following items. The Cobas H 232 meter, the Roche Cardiac IQC high and low strips, and the IQC code chip. At the main menu, touch the QC test screen prompt. The touch screen shows QC test to request the insertion of a strip. Insert the IQC low strip into the test strip guide so that the application area faces up. Insert the strip in a smooth, continuous motion. If you have not run an IQC test with this lot of strips, the screen shows QC test with insert code chip, requesting you to insert the IQC code chip. Insert the IQC code chip into the code chip slot. Once the code chip's information has been read, the screen shows QC test measuring. In about 30 seconds, the screen changes to QC test processing. In about 30 seconds, the result appears, indicated as pass or fail. Results from the IQC test are automatically stored in the meter memory.
Now remove the IQC low strip. The screen returns to the main menu. You can repeat this procedure with the IQC high strip following the same steps you just used for the IQC low. After testing, remove the IQC code chip and return both code chip and strips to the IQC container. Close the container tightly. Now, let's look at how to run the liquid controls using a troponin t-test. To perform liquid control testing for the other tests, use the same simple steps. Roche Cardiac liquid controls are used as a check of the proper functioning and precision of the system. To perform a quality control test, you'll need the following items. The Cobus H232 meter, Roche Cardiac troponin T level 1 and level 2 controls, a code chip for the controls, two Roche Cardiac troponin T test strips, a 1 ml graduated syringe, and two Roche Cardiac pipettes. The Cobus H232 system uses two levels of liquid quality controls. The liquid quality controls have their own code chip. Control code chips are identified with a C in the number. The control code chip contains control range information specific to the lot of controls. Roche Cardiac liquid controls are used as a check of the proper functioning and precision of the system. The control kit contains a bottle of level 1 and a bottle of level 2 controls. Be sure to read the control package insert for complete directions. The proper reconstitution, storage and stability of the materials is important. Let's look at the reconstitution steps. First, remove the controls and the test strips from the refrigerator. The controls must be brought to room temperature before reconstitution. Carefully open the level 1 control bottle. Roche recommends that you open only one control bottle at a time. Add one milliliter of distilled or deionized water with a syringe or pipette. Make sure that the pipette does not come in contact with the dried control material. Replace the rubber stopper and cap. Gently swirl the bottle using a circular motion to completely dissolve all of the control material inside. Repeat this process with the level 2 control bottle. Once the control materials have been reconstituted, we recommend that you write your initials and the date and time on each bottle. Then gently swirl the bottles, occasionally, over a 15-minute period, being careful not to shake the bottles and create bubbles. These controls are stable for 24 hours at 25 degrees Celsius. Please refer to the package insert for appropriate storage conditions if you wish to reuse controls at a later date. A reconstituted bottle must be allowed to reach room temperature before use. To run the liquid quality control tests, follow these steps. Let's look at the level 1 quality control test first. At the main menu, Touch the QC test screen prompt. The screen shows QC test, insert strip. For demonstration purposes, we are using troponin T test strips. Remove a troponin T strip from its foil packet. Open just one strip at a time. The strip must be used within 15 minutes of opening the foil packet. Insert the Roche Cardiac test strip into the test strip guide so that the application area faces up. Hold it straight and flat and insert the strip in a smooth, even, continuous motion. If you have not run a test with this lot of strips, the screen shows QC test with insert code chip, requesting you to insert the appropriate strip code chip. Insert the strip code chip for the lot of strips you are using into the code chip slot. Once the strip code chip's information has been read, the touch screen will prompt you to insert the QC code chip. Remove the strip code chip and insert the QC code chip for the lot of controls you are using into the code chip slot.
Once the code chip's information has been read, the touch screen will ask you to select the QC level. Touch level 1. The screen changes to QC test, warming up. After a few seconds, the screen changes to QC test, apply sample. You have five minutes to apply the sample. Gently swirl the control material. Remove the cap and rubber stopper. The Roche Cardiac Pipette makes it easy to accurately measure the control solution. Simply fill the pipette. Make sure that the top of the control sample is located between the two blue arrows on the pipette. Take care to avoid bubbles. Holding the Roche Cardiac Pipette vertically, carefully apply the control solution to the application area of the test strip. Dispose of the pipette according to your facility guidelines. Touch the check mark on the meter touch screen. An hourglass appears on the screen indicating that the QC test is processing. In about a minute, the countdown begins. In about 12 minutes, the result appears on the screen as pass or fail. The result is stored in memory. Remove the test strip and dispose of it according to your facility's guidelines. Repeat these steps for the Level 2 Liquid Quality Control Test. Be sure to use a new pipette for the Level 2 test so that you don't contaminate the controls. Now, let's look at how to clean the Cobus H232 meter. First, turn the meter off and remove it from the handheld base unit if required. Use a lightly moistened lint-free cloth, gauze or cotton swab with a 1 to 10 diluted bleach solution or a 70% isopropyl alcohol solution. For other suitable cleaning agents, please refer to the operator's manual. Then dry the meter with a fresh tissue. Do not spray anything on or into the meter. To clean the test strip guide, remove the measurement chamber cover by pulling the cover horizontally from the meter. Use a lint-free cloth or gauze or cotton swab to clean the easily accessible areas. Do not insert any objects into the test strip guide as doing so may damage the components in the guide area. Let the strip guide dry for 10 minutes before replacing the cover. To clean the test strip guide cover, you can rinse the cover under running water. You have seen how easy it is to perform a Roche cardiac test using the Cobas H232 meter. The Cobas H232 system can also be used to perform NT, ProBNP, D-dimer, myoglobin and CKMB tests following the same steps outlined in this program. Note that some tests may not be available in all countries. The Roche Cobas H232 meter provides a fast and reliable way to measure cardiac markers in venous whole blood. You simply insert the test strip, apply the blood sample, and read the result. If you have any questions about the operation of the Roche Cobas H232 meter, please contact your local Roche representative.